Hi guys, today I'm introducing a little dog called Cooper. Cooper is a little dachshund who was referred to the center to have some physiotherapy to alleviate symptoms of back pain from a condition known as IVDD. In this condition, the discs between the vertebrae start to lose water and become stiffer. It can be an extremely painful condition for dogs. Thankfully, Cooper is presenting with only mild symptoms from his IVDD. So this is a great time for his owner to learn some helpful tips. And in this video, we're going to cover some basic massage techniques for dogs suffering from this condition. Massage will increase blood flow and decrease pain in the muscles that are affected by this condition. Signs of mild IVDD include excessive curvature in the back, yelping, panting, pain along the spine, reluctance to exercise, difficulty jumping or moving on the stairs. The structural changes that occur in a dog's spine as a result of this condition can cause their muscles to get very tight and sore. Massage is a great way to relieve pain and help keep your dog comfortable. Starting at your dog's shoulder blades, identify where the midline of your dog's back is. Do not put direct pressure on the vertebra at any point, but gently feel for the spine as a landmark. Then measure one finger distance out from the center of the spine to the left and to the right. This will bring you to the location of the muscles we want to massage, the apaxials. We can use a long muscle stretching technique to reduce pain in these muscles. Keep your pressure light and ensure your dog is relaxed throughout the whole massage. If you are pressing too hard, your dog is likely going to try to move away. A relaxed dog is a good indicator that your pressure is correct for their needs. We can also do circular movements into the same muscle, starting at the blades and working your way down towards the tail. Pay attention to any twitching in the muscles, which often indicates tightness. You can lighten your pressure in these areas. Almost every dog I see with IVDD has associated weakness and or tightness in certain muscles of the hind limbs, which can affect the movement of their hips and knees. This occurs as they modify their movement patterns to cope with the structural changes in their spine. So it's important to massage all the muscles of the hind legs, especially the quads and hip flexors at the front of your dog's thigh, not forgetting the hamstrings which run down the back of your dog's hind legs. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you wish to see some more.